the new question is about uh, analog inputs in Emerson Delta V uh, control system. In uh, our Delta V course, uh, we uh, explain that for uh, for each um, module, uh, we can use a specific terminal block or a series of suitable ter terminal blocks. So um, the list of uh, terminal blocks and modules can be uh, can be found. Uh, even we provided that in our uh, tutorial. Uh, in this uh, example. Uh, in this case, we want to, uh, it's a case study, we want to uh, see how uh, to use uh, this terminal block, VE4403. S2B1. We want to see how to use this uh, terminal block. Uh, this terminal block is redundant, a standard I.O. terminal block, and uh, we want to see uh, how is, is it possible to use it for uh, a redundant um, on the input redundant in configuration. So uh, this is the overview of the uh, terminal block. You can see that. Uh, Uh, th these are the uh, these are the switches to uh, adjust based on the module based on the uh, the module we want to install on this uh, terminal block uh, the list and the, the combination code combinations are also available you can install uh, the first uh, module here the first module can be installed here and the second module uh, is the same uh, similar uh, module can be installed here so uh, this is the uh, redundant uh, redundant um, configuration as uh, it's clear we have uh, Terminal number uh, is starting from one, terminal number two, three, four, five, up to terminal number 16. If it's uh, used for uh, analog input uh, signals, as you can see here, it's, a, it's used for analog input signals. So uh, 16, uh, Terminal connections means eight channels, eight, eight channels. So uh, this is the somehow very simplified schematic of the whole uh, two-wire, four-wire connection by using the, this uh, terminal block, by using this terminal block. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, in this schematic, uh, this is the uh, this is the carrier and the primary the primary primary uh, primary oil card or primary analog input is installed here. This is installed here. This is the primary, and uh, this will be this secondary and this is the secondary this is the secondary secondary module and so this is the the first this is the secondary module there is a switch here normally the data is uh, sent to the primary primary module. Pri data sent to the primary module, but in case of a failure in the 
primary module in case of failure in primary module the data is sent to the secondary module uh, this is done automatically uh, by the hardware and if you are not involved you only um, connect eight uh, transmitters to the terminal block um, add this module uh, as a redundant module and uh, do some programming in part regarding to the delta v programming section and the most of the tasks are done by the designers and uh, you, do, you are not uh, you are not involved in all of those uh, details so uh, this is how the concept is working but just remember that uh, it's not possible to uh, it's very simplified version of uh, the um, redundant uh, configuration it's not possible to do the two wire four wire connection uh, in the manner that it's explained here I will tell you more about this um, this concept so this is the another picture in the picture you can see that there are some uh, 16 terminals and uh, these connections are for primary input and this is for secondary uh, the, and there are two uh, jumper switches uh, the first jumper switches the the left jumper switches the left here and the right jumper switch I will tell you more about these jumper switches because they are they are very important in this and uh, more information regarding to the redundant analog input terminal block and uh, what uh, you need all you need will be uh, available here in order to to perform the installation you need to adjust the terminal block for a1 and consider we in this manner uh, because uh, these these arrows here these arrows analog input field type is uh, in front of the two wire normally as the vendor or provider is indicating the terminal block is shipped with the default of two wire uh, you know, it's set on two wire two wire setting so in this configuration you can install eight transmitters how to install a transmitter so it's very easy uh, if it's a two wire transmitter mm -hmm. transmitter has a positive output you can connect that positive output mm -hmm. to pin number one and the negative output to uh, pin number two and eight transmitters can be installed to two wire transmitters two wire transmitter and this is tx8 we simply install tx tx8 uh, this is the the plus and this is the minus the plus and the minus so we can install eight transmitters in the two wire manner and what will happen if we want to uh, consider we have some uh, four wire uh, four wire uh, transmitters four wire transmitters or uh, analyzers or fellow transmitters with the, um, the AC power supply like the in case of the fellow transmitters with the uh, electromagnetic type or analyzer most of them uh, require uh, AC power so if uh, we need four wire um, and four wire transmitters channel one channel two three and four we just draw a border here 
uh, the transmit uh, the connections in the left side the uh, fair, uh, left side and the right side if we consider this as a left side left side and right side for the left side uh, this uh, indication this jumper uh, can be removed and rotated if you want a uh, two wire connection for the left side you don't touch the uh, default settings but if you want to have a, um, a four wire um, configuration for the uh, right side four wire configuration for the right side you simply remove uh, re you should remove this uh, you should remove this and simply uh, uh, rotate we should have something like this here uh, four wire should be here four wire should be here four wire should be here four wire here and two wire here two wire so we need to remove remove this and rotate it if we the arrow if the arrow here this arrow is in is indicating to a value of four as yeah, this is the case as it's the case here for the arrow is in case of four you can install the four wire you can install the four wire transmitters how uh, for installation of four wire transmitters consider we have a flow transmitter flow transmitter it's a, a electromagnetic flow transmitter we have ln connection uh, ac ln connection it's an ac uh, supply but the um the dc signals we have a plus and minus for dc signal we have a plus and minus the plus can be connected to the uh, channel 8 uh, terminal number 15 and the minus can be connected to the channel 16 um, sorry uh, terminal 16 the minus can be connected to uh, terminal number 16 so you need to be very careful because if you make a mistake you may damage the uh, you may damage the the card so if the arrow here is indicating to the four it has the meaning of four wire four wire uh, configuration and uh, i guess we have it in the in this picture uh, it's not it's not a originally packed uh, module by the manufacturer but you can see that the four wire here is uh, the indication the, uh, the arrow is indicating um, to the uh, the four wire and it means that the, it means that it uh, all the eight channels all eight channels are can be configured or can be connected to four wire uh, four wire transmitters so it's very easy it's, it's not a big deal so um, if we just return to the uh, original you know manufacturer you can see that uh, uh, it's a um, you know the module shipped by the manufacturer because we have here two here also two and the arrows are indicating to the two and all of these uh, eight channels this is one channel two channel three four five six seven and eight channels uh, they uh, they can be used for the they can be used for uh, two wire transmitters like if you have tx here the plus is connected to the uh, odd terminal numbers and the minus can be connected to the even terminal numbers even terminal numbers uh, so 
that's all for the delta v redundant uh, thermal block for um, other input signals mm. more information regarding to the rest of module the rest of the module like digital input uh, digital output, analog input, analog output, different types of module, different types of thermal blocks can be uh, can be found in our website. Uh, please uh, enroll to uh, register to our website, enroll to the Delta V course for uh, more information, and also please subscribe to our channel here for more uh, control related, PLC related, or TCS related topics. Thank you for watching.